All right, all right. Let me tell you about the the horror story of my Snapchat getting deleted. So, I I'll be honest. I wasn't running this how I was supposed to. Um, and there's a few reasons why like, I know better. And I knew I wanted to test out Snapchat, but I wasn't super intentional how I should have been. Like by the time I had gotten to where I am right now, like in the testing that I'm doing now, I'm a lot more detailed on the the strategy I'm gonna strategy on the strategies I'm gonna be using, on what my goals are, on like the whole outline. I did not have that at this time. I just knew I wanted to try the shit out and see how it go not measuring anything, not really keeping track of anything, like just just going, just being a, a freaking Aries. And um I didn't even know that I had made forty thousand dollars off Snapchat until like I started like breaking down like what's next. Um because I knew Snapchat deleting my ass was it just I needed to have a plan. And I needed to know if, it, if this was going to be a case study, if I was going to show girls what's what, then I need to have, I need to have some kind of like, um, some kind of log of like what I'm doing, what I did, <laughs> don't what not to do, what to do, what the numbers are, like all that. So, um, Snapchat deleted me. Okay. Focus. All right. Still traumatized, still traumatized. Usually what I would have done is I would have collected people's information and and then let them into my Snapchat or whatever I would was going to be um, selling to them. Why? Well, because if anything ever happens, like Snapchat deletes you or whatever the fuck, you have a way to speak to your customer, right? Mm -hmm. So on one hand, I have my OGs where... I think I had like a scare before, like my Snapchat was glitching. So I like sent them out like a quick Google form so that they could fill it out and I could get in contact with them if I needed to. On the other hand, I had um, my newbie Snapchat people who were paying monthly where, <laughs> where when I had them fill out the form, right, had their name, their phone number, email, and what their Snapchat name was, right? So I could add them. Um, and that's it. So when my Snapchat got to me, everybody had came, come from Instagram, right? So I'm like, let me go to Instagram and make an announcement. Let me send out an email to everybody who's um, on the subscription side and let them know what's going on. You know? Um, and like within 24 hours, I had made a new Snapchat. All right? So like we're rocking, we're rolling, we're getting everybody back in there. Snapchat and really was up. I don't know. I don't know if it was <laughs> my IP address. It probably was. I had gotten probably like almost 200 people back in. And they deleted my shit again. They deleted my shit again. And I'm like, damn, like, how you gonna wait till I get like 200 people in there and then delete me? That's crazy. You, you had me do all that. Why don't you just not let me make an account if you knew it was my IP address? Why you play with me like that? But you know what? They play with me. So I'm like, okay, I can't go back to Snapchat. I can't go back to Snapchat. So I um, created the close friends, and I knew this was going to be a temporary fix. There's no way I'm going to stay on Instagram. Instagram been wiping out my pages since 1952. The horror story is like I get <laughs> I get a bunch of people <laughs> and my close friends, and on one hand I have the OGs that some of them filled out that form, right? So I was able to find their Instagrams pretty quickly. But on the other hand, I was sending out emails to the subscribers in like 20, 20%, 20 to 30% of them weren't even opening the email. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to find them on Instagram and tell them to check their email. But I had only gotten subscribers Snapchat. So I didn't have a way of doing that. So my account, my square account was new. So I was like, let me just send them a text. 
I had to wait seven days in order to be approved to send a text. I was like, ah, what do I do? So I ended up having to go through this elaborate way of finding some of these people. And, ooh, ooh, it was brutal. It was brutal. And I still think there's only like maybe 15 people that still haven't gotten to my close friends. So, anywho, Snapchat didn't dirty. Snapchat didn't dirty. But, you know, that's their platform. I knew better. I should have had my stuff set up right. So, this time around, I found a new platform. I found a new platform, and I'm so excited about it because I think it's going to be better than IG. I think it's going to be better than TikTok. I think it's going to be better than OF. I really think it's next up. And if they keep playing their cards right, which how, how it seems they are, like treating their creators right and stuff like that, I think it's, it's going to be good. It's like TikTok and OnlyFans had a baby. Aha. And I can't wait to tell you about that. But first, I want to tell you about this borderline crazy way I decided to roll out this new platform. 